Yes, you heard that right. But if you're imagining a massive block of amber, think again. This tail is tiny, only 1.5 inches long, and more than 99 million years old. It too was trapped in resin. Now, thanks to this fossil, the mystery of what dinosaurs actually looked like has been unveiled. But do you know how it was found? Nope, not during an excavation. In 2015, Chinese paleontologist Jing Lida spotted an unusual piece of amber at a market in Myanmar among piles of ordinary trinkets. At first, he thought it contained an ancient plant, but it turned out to be a real sensation. The tail consisted of eight vertebrae, and it was covered in feathers. Indeed, this discovery also showed that some dinosaur species had plumage. Analysis revealed that the upper part of the tail was chestnut-colored, while the underside was white. The feathers lacked a central shaft, like those of modern birds, but they did have barbules that formed a downy structure. Scientists believe the tail belonged to a young celiorosaur, a group of dinosaurs that includes tyrannosaurs and modern birds. If anyone still doubted that birds evolved from dinosaurs, these ancient feathers in amber erased all uncertainty. But that's not all. Traces of iron, a product of hemoglobin decay, were also preserved inside the stone. This discovery could help researchers determine the color of the dinosaur's feathers and understand more about the structure of its keratin. However, it won't be possible to clone the dinosaur. Like in Jurassic Park, DNA completely breaks down in amber after 1 to 1.5 million years, and this tale is 99 million years old. Interestingly, an ant from the Cretaceous period was also found in the same piece of amber, a double jackpot. Today, this incredible fossil is preserved at the Dushu Institute of Paleontology in China, where scientists continue studying it to uncover more about ancient mammals. Yes, time is ruthless, but not when it comes to amber. It has the power to capture even the tiniest details, turning a fleeting moment into eternity.